Hello students. Welcome to Modern Management Technique class. We are dealing with the second unit, Management Functions. Wherein, as a part of organizing, we are dealing with authority as well as responsibility. So in the previous video, we have learned about authority. In this class, we are going to see about responsibility. So as we know that authority and responsibility go hand in hand, right? So the authority which is given without responsibility is of like again no use or it may not produce the better results. At the same time, the responsibility which is given without authority again doesn't produce anything quality. So here as authority is important, in the same way, the responsibility is also necessary. So what is responsibility here? So responsibility in general means that taking up of the duty or here it is a task which is assigned to the subordinates on the basis of his position in the organization, right? So here in general, you can say that responsibility is an obligation of an individual to perform a duty or a task assigned to him, right? So it is an obligation that it is a duty of an employee or the, or the supervisor or the subordinate to perform a specific task which is being assigned by his subordinates, right? So let us look into the some of the features of the responsibility. So here an organization can that is, they assign here responsibility to the human beings only. That is, only the persons who are working under them, that is, uh, you can say that human resources, only they will be here eligible or only they can take up the responsibilities here, right? So, other resources can't be assigned with the responsibilities. And it is a relationship between the superiors and subordinates. So, here the responsibility arises as a relationship between the superiors and subordinates. Superiors give or assign some responsibilities to the their subordinates here. Okay. So here they pass, they possess the authority. Being a senior, they have the authority and they here require to done the task from his subordinates. That is when a subordinate, uh, that is when the superiors have got an authority to assign the work, superior, they can do that work by themselves or they can assign that work to his subordinates, right? So when they assign that to subordinate, it becomes the responsibility or the duty of the subordinate to perform that task, right? So here the management can confine it to the performance of a single function or can continue obligation, right? That means what here being given a responsibility can be assigned to a particular task or it may be an obligation for a person to perform that, right? Then next here, uh, we can also define it in the terms of functions or targets or some goals, right? That is when responsibility is expressed in the terms of target, it enables the subordinates to know by what standards their performance shall be evaluated. That means here, so someone assigns you some task there, right? That is, you have to complete this task within the given period of time, right? That means here what? That becomes your responsibility, okay? Now, suppose for example, there is a fest which has been organized in your college, okay? So, you are being assigned with some task there. Okay, so when you are assigned with some task, you have to fulfill that within the given period of time. So that becomes your responsibility to complete that particular task within the given period of time. So here that will set a standard for the performance and which will be easy for the further evaluation also. Then here the main response, the core of responsibility is obligation. Obligation means what here? It becomes a duty or it will it will be like a burden or you can say that not a burden but it is like accountable. You are responsible for someone to answer here, right? 
so here in the case of when subordinate assign the when the work is assigned to the subordinates it becomes their obligation to perform the duties and assign which is assigned by the superiors that is when superiors will assign them a duty all right it becomes a uh, like you can say it is an it is an obligation of a subordinate to complete that task and they have to report them back to their superiors okay so here subordinate have to perform the duties and they have to report it back and here responsibility is a coextensive of authority that is it is an extension of authority here right so it is like uh, not every time compulsory that the person who has taken the authority have to take a, the he have to no, take a responsibility there is no doubt but not complete responsibility he can take a partial responsibility or the other responsibility is that he will assign the work to some other person and his responsibility being a superior is to see that that work is done by his subordinates in a time so here the responsibility passes to two people one is here the person who is a uh, superior uh, who is having authority and to the person who is a subordinate who have to uh, submit or uh, submit the task which is given by the superior here right so here superior delegates the authority to the subordinates and later becomes responsible to the former for the performance of the task and for also the proper use of authority right so thus here the uh, responsibility is derivative of authority that is your responsibility will come from the authority then next here is responsibility is absolute and one cannot delegate it a subordinate to whom his superiors assign the task may himself perform it or may get it done from uh, from his own subordinate but in both the case he shall remain responsible to his superiors right that is even when some one of the manager is been assigned some task right that is uh, he is been assigned with the authority as well as the responsibility right so when he is having an authority he can pass that the responsibility to someone else and get the things done with others but in that case also the manager have to report to his immediate superior or the boss for the task which is he's been assigned so here in the both the cases both the subordinates have to be answerable to their uh, superiors then as a authority is a downward flow the responsibility is a reverse that is upward flow right so here a support the person who is at a bottom level has a more responsibility here so the subordinate will only be always responsible to the superiors right so it goes in a reverse way that is it is a upward wherein the superiors are that is they uh, the subordinates should be always be responsible to his superiors then when it comes to responsibility there arises the accountability right so what is your accountability means that is you have to be answerable right whatever will be the consequences you have or whatever are the end results you are responsible or you have to be answerable for that result that is whatever will happen you have to answer how that has taken place right what is the reason for that so here the person who accept the responsibility is also accountable for his performance right so however the management can use a various technique to define the responsibility in order to involve members of an organization in its coordination effort right so here responsibility doesn't mean only uh, putting the work pressure but it also means the involving everyone in the organization that is everyone should coordinate for the functions of the management here right so here responsibility doesn't only mean that there is some burden or some other people they are putting the pressure on the that is subordinates no it is like a team work everyone should be responsible for their uh, for their work right so everyone being responsible means what here that they are aware of what work they are doing or what they have the obligation as a part of a organization and according to that they should perform their duties that shows the coordination and the work involvement in an organization 
So your authority and the responsibility are like the two managerial function which shows the flow of the information in organization. Thank you.